So I just woke up after spending a night in the Hamptons in my car in a random parking lot here, right next to the Montauk Lighthouse. So if you guys are familiar with surf fishing, this is kind of known as the Mecca, the end, one of like the craziest, most profound fishing spots, surf fishing spots here on the East Coast and the Northeast for striped bass and bluefish and fluke and literally every game fish species you can imagine. So there's elite surf cast with the fish here, and then there's me. So yesterday I kind of ranked myself up one point by stopping in Long Island and buying a brand new van stall. This is a VR150. Just pulled it up with some 40 pound Power Pro and uh, pairing it on my old Tsunami Airwave, which I've had for like four years. But yeah, I mean, I'm obviously pretty stoked to fish here right now, guys. I have never, never fished anywhere close to Montauk. And uh, this is gonna be day two of our 10 day travel send if you're following that along on our way to Maine and then back down. So yeah, day two, yesterday we caught some cocktail blues. Today we're hoping to just get on, on whatever bite. We're, we're pretty much fishing the summer doldrums here, the dog days. Today's August 23rd. I mean, we're really right in the middle of the spring and fall runs here. There's not too much going on. And Montauk's not really known for its late summer fishing, but you never know. I talked to my friend, Rich Fishaholic, and uh, he gave me a couple pointers to fishing over here. So without further ado, let's get the GoPro on our head and uh, start walking out on some rocks and doing some classic Montauk surf casting. You. All right, well, here we go. So we just threw on the corkers. Essential when you're fishing on slippery rocks like we're about to do right here. And I'm not too sure what to expect. We're fishing the northeast side. Rich told me to go fish the south side. We parked over here, so let's see if we can uh, make something happen real quick. And yeah, the water's gonna be warm. Not ideal striper conditions, but you never, never know. So right away over here, folks, the water does look noticeably way, way dirtier than it was back there. So we're probably gonna have to keep on walking until we find some clean water because it looks absolutely filthy. If we find that clean water, we should be able to find some fish. So nothing we can do. Let's just keep on walking. Seeing these cliffs behind here, I mean, there's got to be some monster, monster storms that have battered this point. I mean, that is like a sheer, at least 20, maybe 30 foot cliff. And uh, yeah, whew, that's got to take some swell to do that type of erosion. So we're only about a quarter mile down here. The water looks considerably better. Might've just been because that construction, that's also the point where all the water kind of rips around, but let's get ourselves out to one of these rocks. I think a couple casts of this bomber here. It's not a real high confidence lower, but sometimes it gets the job done. Came down hard on that one. <laughs> That's why you wear the corkers and buy a waterproof reel. We just ate that wave. So folks, today is day three of our Northeast fishing adventures here. Yesterday, day two, was not as successful as I had hoped. So fished the surf fishing mecca of the East Coast Montauk for about six hours with absolutely no bites. I saw a giant blitz of gator blues out about 200, 300 yards off the beach. It just happened to be the wrong time of the year. We're here at the end of August, which is probably one of the slowest months of the year. We woke up early this morning, woke up five o'clock in a Starbucks parking lot, and uh, we're feeling optimistic. We're freshly awake, just had a double shot of espresso, 
And uh, yeah, we're gonna send it down to the beach. So right behind me here is about a hundred foot descent to the North shore right here. We're just gonna try to catch whatever. So we got a little popper tied on. Fingers crossed we catch some fish. Also fingers crossed we don't get towed because there is this sign right here. If you can see that, it's real lovely. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get down these stairs. Let's go crank some fish. You. This place just looks absolutely insane, man. The scenery alone on this trip has been beautiful. Montauk yesterday was just gorgeous. Just fishing up here, I mean, the terrain is just so wet. All right, folks, so again, for starters, fishing off of the VR 150 right here. This is an 8.8 8 Tsunami Airwave. To start off on the plug front, we're gonna be throwing Tsunami talking popper here. Probably gonna throw this most of the morning because it is a pretty beautiful top water spot. Let's uh, start ripping a couple casts. So that right there is a filleted striped bass. A questionably good sign. I don't really think there are gonna be any fish here, but seeing that, I mean, he either washed up or there are in fact stripers in this area, so. I only brought a couple plugs down here on the beach with me. Just gonna continue throwing this guy here. I mean, it is a really good all around plug choice, so we'll see. I mean, we threw the top water here for a little bit, no hits. Just gotta get lucky once. That's good. Oh man, I'm getting beat up out here, guys. Knew I should have brought the corcus. Well, another striper carcass here. I'm afraid we were just too late to the bite this morning, so we're getting out of here now. Time checks 9 a.m. Been fishing for three hours now, but still heavily motivated. That espresso is still kicking. So off the bat, spot number, I don't even know where we're at now. Spot number like 3,432. Looks really, really good. Well guys, I guess the saying, the set never ends is true. It's a little after 12 o'clock now. We've been surf casting for six hours. It's been driving around all over the place, flying the drone here and there, looking for fish. And I've come to the conclusion that the, the potential for bass and bluefish is pretty much gone. We may catch some cocktail blues, but we're not going to get on anywhere near the potential early bite we could have had this morning. So right now, I mean, we've still got the van stall. We've still got the tsunami air wave ready. I'm just going to turn this into a marathon grind day of fishing because that's what it's become. Just searching the Long Island surf for whatever I can catch. We've got a two mile walk along this nature path. I really wanted to get two videos done today, but sometimes it just turns out, you mean, you plan all this stuff ahead of time, you schedule everything, and it doesn't always turn out as you expected. So we're still gonna keep our motivation though. Keep on fishing. Let's keep on walking first before we can make some cast. See you guys at the rendezvous. Yoop. This is a pretty cool spot though, I'll tell you that. Like fishing on the edge of a friggin' coral reef. Not actually, but <laughs> that's what this feels like. This is awesome out here. If only there were actually fish to be caught. I've had much worse bad days than this. So a slow day fishing is nothing to be upset about. A slow couple days fishing, I should add. Oh, I think there's some birds working up there. I think so. Are there any fish on them? Oh yeah, there's a little bait blitz going on right here. Gotta put a little jog in this one. Looks like some little blues are going off here. Blowing up with some peanuts. Oh my God. I haven't caught a fish in two days. 
They're blowing up like crazy. Oh my God. We got a blitz. We got a blitz going on on the beach. If this boat runs over the blitz, I swear to God. I swear to God. Slide this bucktail off. What I say, that boat just ran it right over. Unbelievable. But we're all around here, so let's just give it a cast. Just threw on a two ounce peanut bunker spoon. Not seeing them blow up after that boat went by. All right, let's see if anybody's on anything here. Oh yeah, here they come. Here they are. They're back. Come on, give me a bite. Look at them, right over my feet. Right here, right here. I think we just got hit. They don't want the two ounce spoon. We might have to go lighter. So the blitz is still going on. It appears they're on micro, micro rain bait. Let's give this guy a try. Let's let it rip. Beautiful little bait. See if we can find one jump somewhere. Oh yeah, there they are, little micros. I think they're just baby snappers, guys. But hey, at this point, a fish is a fish. I haven't caught anything in two days. Oh, just had something. Just had them. Oh, just had something small. They're just little baby guys. There he is. Oh my God, they're tiny. They are tiny fish. Look at this guy come in. <laughs> Little snapper. Oh, popped off. There's the bait they're feeding on over my feet. There he is, fish. Boom. That's our trophy. Let's go. Oh my God, dude. What a freaking day. And that is our trophy bluefish, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Let's send him back before he dies. Just a small little guy to take care of the future population. See you, bud. I spent two days, two days fishing here in Long Island. Fishing the fishiest, the best looking water I've seen in my entire life without a bite for literally end to end. I mean, 20 hours of fishing. To catch something, have a fish on my rod is an awesome feeling. And uh, I'm ready to leave Long Island for sure. It's been an absolute grind. Time checks around 1.30. I have a ferry that goes to Connecticut at 5 p.m., which means we have to be off this beach at around 3. Join me while I catch a couple more snappers, and then I'll see you at the end. Phew! Can't believe the bluefish I caught on day one were about four times that size. And the ones I saw in Montauk in the morning were like 10. But throw this guy out. Maybe there's some Spanish mixed in or some bigger blues. Cute little guys. There he is. Another one. This is not fair. Boom. See you, bud. Hey, this is the lighthearted fun I needed, though, man. I have been grinding, grinding for days now. <laughs> right at my feet, guys. Boom. All right, you get to live, though, bud. You're lucky. I just want to catch a couple more of your friends. There he is. Oh, actually not a bad size one. This guy's a little too big for bait, but still way too small to fillet, so. Lucky survivor snapper. Phew. See you, bud. This was jigging this guy right here. And we freaking snagged a blowfish. This is crazy. Come on, yo, do the, do the thing. The, the, uh, do the thing, dude. Okay, he's not gonna do it. Goodbye. All right, folks, right now we are aboard the Cross Sound Ferry with about 60 other cars headed to Connecticut, right over there on the horizon. So Long Island was an absolute send, but I am ready to freaking leave. Two days, two and a half days of fishing here. I mean, just an absolute, absolute grind, a tank and a half of gas. And uh, all we had to show for was really a couple snapper blues and a bunch of cool pictures. The scenery up here, the fishing landscape up here is just absolutely something else. I mean, I've never seen such beautiful landscape and I took so many pictures. I'm so happy I brought the drone out. And that's really one of the main reasons why I even uploaded the video in the first place because I just wanna kinda of share this whole experience with you guys driving 10 days by myself, just living in this car pretty much, 
from New Jersey to Maine. It's going to be an adventure, and I want to capture every moment of it. So with that being said, vlog's cool. The send is cool, but you guys want to see some fish, so we're headed over to Connecticut now. We're going to be in Rhode Island tonight. And uh, yeah, we'll see when the adventures kick up. Let's head across the, the sound here on the ferry. Should be a sick, sick little adventure. And I'll catch you guys in the next video over in New England. So stay stoked. Never end the sand, baby.